Olive was standing by a stage in a television studio with a cheering audience. She was wearing a pink skirt and top. On stage, two flamingos were dancing and singing. Yeah, 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 we'll give you a wink. Where the super hair goes, like to wear pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olive could see three judges. One of them was a big bull wearing a dark suit. His name was Moo Man Cowbell. Super Feathers, that was a terrible performance. Absolutely awful. The crowd began to boo. Super Feathers did not look happy. You sounded OK, but the other one, my pet cat has a better singing voice. Oh, he's not a very nice bull. If you've got any chance of winning the wow factor, you super feathers need to shape up before your final performance. Hmm, maybe I can help. Thought Olive and followed the girls as they went backstage. Yoo-hoo! Can I come in? My name's Olive. Yeah, all right, there. Yeah. My name's Stacy and this is Tracy. How's it going, Olive? Oh, Tracy, what's wrong with your voice? Got this cold, haven't I? I can hardly speak, let alone sing. That's why we gave such a terrible performance. Yeah, it's the final soon. We're never going to win with Tracy sounding so rough. Olive looked down and saw that she was wearing the same pink costume as Tracy and Stacy. Hmm, my pink costume? Your pink costumes? I think I may have an idea. I could join Super Feathers and sing instead of you, Tracy. I'd fit right in. I'm a very good singer. Great idea, but you'll need to learn our dance routine and song super fast. Stacy and Tracy got to work teaching Olive the song and the dance routine. It was hard work, and Olive had to learn it really quickly. Very soon there was a knock on the dressing room door. Super Feathers, you're on stage in two minutes, darlings. OK, you ready, Olive? As ready as I'll ever be. Olive and Super Feathers began their performance. Yeah, 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 we'll give you a wink. We're the Super Feather Girls and we like to wear pink. At first yeah, it was going yeah, really yeah. well. Olive sang with Stacy and Tracy mimed along to the words. But as Olive danced, she got so carried away singing the song that she went in the wrong direction and she danced right off the front of the stage. Olive went flying and landed sitting in Moo Man Cowbell's lap. He looked completely shocked. But Olive carried on and managed to finish the song. Yeah, 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 we'll give you a win. That was an utterly, completely, totally <laughs> amazing performance. No one's had the courage to jump in my lap before. Super Feathers, you are this year's Wow Factor winners. Yeah. So, thanks, Olive. You really saved the day. Yay, we're all going to be super famous. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for fame, but I think you girls are going to be Super Feathers superstars. They all laughed, <laughs> and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. OK, actually, I helped the Super Feathers win Wow Factor. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. Olive the A group of people were running round a ring. Each of them had a dog trotting at their side. Suddenly, a voice from a loudspeaker boomed. Welcome to Mott's Dog Show. Oh, I love a good dog show! exclaimed Olive. Just then, she heard a sad voice. Oh dear, what have I done? The sad voice belonged to a little old lady who was holding a small carrying case. I'm Olive. Is there something wrong? Oh, hello, dear. I'm Mrs. Moggins, but I should be called Mrs. Sillikins because I've come to the wrong show and my little Buffy here won't be able to take part. Why ever not? Because Buffy is a... a a cat. Mrs. Moggins whipped open the door to the animal carrier and a small, whiskery creature peered at Olive. A cat? Oh, that could be a problem. She's so disappointed not to be in the show. Look how droopy her whiskers are. Why don't I get a nice cup of tea to cheer you up? Oh, yes, I'd love a cup of tea. 
Olive got two cups of tea and a plate of mini sticky bicky mm. bites, which were very sticky indeed. Yay! These mini sticky bicky bites are sticky to my feathers. <laughs> Giggled Olive. If only Buffy could be in the show. Mrs. Moggins sighed. Olive looked at the biscuits. Hmm, a cat. Some mini sticky bicky bites. I think I may have an idea. Mrs. Moggins, let's make a dog disguise for Buffy using these sticky bickies. With Mrs. Moggins' help, Olive laid all the biscuits out on the ground and encouraged Buffy to roll over them. They all stuck to Buffy's fur. Now Buffy is a new type of dog. <laughs> a mini sticky picky. All she has to do is woof and her disguise will be perfect. Olive showed Buffy what to do. Woof! And Buffy copied her. I think you should take her into the ring, Olive. After all, the disguise was your idea. Things went well at first. Buffy trotted along nicely. She rolled over and even gave the judge her paw. Let's have a huge round of applause for Olive the Ostrich and Buffy, said the judge. But just then, one of the dogs started to follow Buffy around the ring. Soon, all the other dogs were following her too. Yay! Cried Olive. I think they've got a whiff of the biscuit. The dogs chased Buffy, and Buffy chased the dogs, and the mini sticky bicky bites started to drop off. The dogs went crazy, woofing and munching the bickies up. Everyone could see Buffy without her disguise. Look! cried the judge. It's a cat! <gasps> Everyone gasped! Meow! <laughs> said Buffy. It's no use, Buffy. We've been found out. Then suddenly the air was filled with Booming laughter. <laughs> it was the judge. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the judge thought it was so funny, he awarded Buffy a special rosette for best cat in a dog costume. Buffy was so happy, she purred. Thank you for all your help, Olive. Buffy is the happiest cat in the show. She's the only cat in the show. <laughs> <laughs> they both laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay. Actually, I disguised a cat as a dog and won a rosette. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. 